Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give our honor, our praises, our glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash, Yahweh the Heavenly Father, who the worldly calls God, Yahweh Shah, the only begotten Son, who the worldly calls Jesus Christ. I would like to say the water or thank you to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah for the Rakakwadash. The Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone to rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akiyam, Wazakwanyam, all around the world, preaching and teaching this word, and truth and sincere to Shalom to the hopeful elect. All right, I just want to uh, come back with a lesson. Um, <clears throat> I want to do a breaking stronghold. All right, a uh, lesson real quick. One of the many strongholds that brothers go into and break. All right, breaking the stronghold of what? Christianity. Because it's a lot of false... Uh, uh, ideologies, false beliefs that stem from the Christian uh, church, all right, the Christian uh, ideology or whatever. All right, and one is that uh, Mary was a virgin, okay, and that Yahweh Shah, who the word only called Jesus Christ, was uh, born through the Immaculate Conception. Basically, that an angel just placed uh, uh, the Messiah in in Mary's stomach. All right, so we're gonna break. All right, those strongholds with uh, scripture, proving what that Yahweh Shai was from the seed of man. Okay, that Mary was not a virgin. All right, and that Yahweh Shai, uh, who the word only called Jesus Christ, had relatives. He had brothers and sisters. All right, cousin. So we're going to bring out a little bit of that and close it up and break another stronghold of plantation Christianity. So this is Romans chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Concerning his son, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. All right, we can close it up right here with this one precept. It says, Yahweh Shah, all right, Concerning his son, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. So Yahweh Shah was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. That means his lineage, all right, was the same bloodline as King David, all right, through his father, through the seed. And that word seed still trickles down to this time that we are in today. In 2023, men still call it their children, what? Their seed. All right? We're going to go into that word seed. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2 and 8. Remember that Yahweh Shah HaMashiach of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. All right? We got another uh, scripture saying that Yahweh Shah was of the seed of David. All right? Of the bloodline of David. Of the uh, of the children, all right, of David going back to uh, forefathers, okay. You, the man carries the seed, and it says Yahweh Shah was the seed of David. Not saying that David was Yahweh Shah's father, but Yahweh Shah's father was of all right descent from King David. So let's go into this word seed really quick. All right, I got it in 2 Timothy uh, 2 and 8. It says sperma. All right? Sperma. And we know where uh, sperm is. Okay, semen. All right, it says from which a plant germinates. It says, A, the seed, the grain or kernel which contains within itself the germ of future plants. Oh, uh, that's not the one I want. This is the one. Uh, it says, we're going to go with two. It says, the semen virile. Yes, yeah, so a sperm is what? Semen. And it says, what? Remember that Yahweh Sahamashiach of the sperm, okay? All right? Of the sperm of David, that means what? Bloodline goes back. To King David, men, all right, was having sex and uh, 
uh, with women and putting their sperm in the women and creating a bloodline. And Yahweh Shai's bloodline goes back to the sperm of King David. All right, it's not hard to uh, believe the same way that men are created today. All right? Um, it says, uh, the product of this semen, seed, children, offspring, proge progeny, family, tribe, poster, posterity. All right? It says, um, whatever possesses vital force or life giving of divine energy of the Holy Spirit operating within the soul, which by we are generated. All right, so that sperm, that semen is, uh, you know, a spiritual thing. All right, and that's how we are, uh, you know, regenerated through reincarnation, through coming back. Men are born back, but not to get off topic. All right, so that word seed goes back to sperma. That's just the point I wanted to prove. Don't want to go too deep in it. It's Matthew 1 and 1, the book of the generation of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham. All right? Generation. These are uh, simple things that people know, but want to act simple when it comes to uh, the scriptures about. If I say I'm from the uh, generation, all right, of a certain, my father, they know that I'm talking about his father. His father's father, his father's father. That's why they named the uh, different generations in Matthew the first chapter, if we keep on reading. All right, it says, The book of the generation of Yahweh Shahamashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham. So it goes into the lineage of men, all right, that was the forefathers of Yahweh Shah, because he was born of man, born of seed of man. All right. And he had, what, brothers and sisters. So this uh, scripture is about to prove that, what, Mary wasn't no virgin. This is Matthew 13 and 55. Is not this the carpenter's son? See? And that carpenter they was talking about was Joseph. Showing that Joseph, okay, was uh, of the lineage, okay, of King David. He said, is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And his brethren James and Joseph and Simon and Judas. See? Yahweh Shah had what? Brothers. All right? And his sisters, are they not all with us? Whence then had this man all these things? All right? So Yahweh Shah had brothers and sisters. And this is proving what? That Mary was not a virgin, she had other children. It's Mark 6 and 3. Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and Judah and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. Just another precept, backing it up. Yahweh Shah had brothers and sisters. All right, Mary had other children. All right. He had relatives. Because what? John the Baptist was his cousin. All right. Mary and John the Baptist's mother, Elizabeth, were cousins. This is, uh, what's this, Luke? Yeah, this is Luke 1 and 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from the Most High into the city of Galilee named Nazareth. Now, the angel Gabriel just had came from uh, telling John's father, Zechariah, that John was going to be born that uh, Elizabeth would conceive John. All right, now he pulled up, all right, on Mary. It says, to a virgin, a spouse to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. All right, so at this time, what, Mary was a virgin, but she was engaged, that's what a spouse means, to a man named Joseph. That's the uh, biological father of Yahweh Shah. 
<clears throat> it says, and the angel came in, in, into her and said, Hail thou, hail thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. And she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast her mind what manner of salvation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with the Most High. And behold, thou shalt conceive, all right, in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Yahweh Shai. So hey, the angel is telling her that you are going to conceive, and how you conceive uh, by having sex. That's how a woman conceives. A man puts that sperma inside of a woman. He put his seed inside of her. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest, and Yahweh power shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And how was David his father? Because that was his forefather. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? All right, so at this time she was a virgin. And this is what the, uh, Gabriel is about to tell him. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Spirit shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. So the angel is telling Mary that the Heavenly Father, all right, is going to put the Spirit on her to have sex with Joseph. And they're going to conceive and have Yahweh Shai. All right, it's that easy, that simple. No, the angel didn't have sex with Mary, okay, and, and have Yahweh shot because that would be adultery. Because what? Uh, she was a spouse to a man whose name was Joseph. So the angel couldn't have a baby with Mary because that would be adultery because Mary was engaged to Joseph. All right, so the angel telling her, that he going to, uh, the Lord's going to, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is going to uh, have her and Joseph come together and have his baby. Um, yeah, it says, and the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Spirit shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of the Most High. All right. Verse 36, And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. All right, so verse 36 says, Mary cousin Elizabeth is going to have, uh, also going to conceive, also is going to be with child. All right, so if Mary and uh, Elizabeth, our cousins, that make these two babies that are in their wombs cousins. And those babies would be Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, and John the Baptist. So John the Baptist, all right, and Yahweh Shai, who the word they called Jesus Christ, were cousins because their mothers was cousins. All right, just more proof that Yahweh Shai, all right, <clears throat> was born of the seed of man because he had relatives and had what a cousin, cousin. All right. Um, I'm going to uh, end it up right there. I ain't want to make this too long. Just want to, you know, come break a stronghold real quick. So, um, you know, want to give our honor, our praise, our glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Shalom.